sunk cost dailies. <laughs> Man, that's a uh, that's an oof level of self awareness from our opposing mobile gamer. Anybody? Anybody in chat relate? Baby, we are toxic. Uh, with Limbo, I think I'm passing this turn. I would like to draw a Bast or a way for Nico to interface with this hood. Virtual plus six here, which means they're at sixteen. Think of this, this puts me to eight twenty-two. So they'd have to have the twenty-two. They're at sixteen. They have to have seven here. Is one, two, three, four. I declare a Mysterio War. So it'll give me plus eight, plus two. I'm getting uh, plus ten on the right up to twenty two. So they'd have to put seven in the middle. I think they're an infinite on deck with Spectrum. Agent Venom plays Marvel Snap, one of the ways I really enjoy playing Marvel Snap. Well, that's interesting. I guess I wasn't thinking about that, but they could move it. I am Iron Man. Uh, that puts me to 26 on the right. No more than that. Uh, 30, 32. Have a way to win the center without man thing. Victory. Hey, Big Drip. I saw your DM on Discord. Are you in chat? You sent a message. Thanks for checking out the Factor Sponsor. Appreciate the support. For your, your extended gift sub stay at Oglandia. My glasses, reading glasses. No, they're blue light filtering that help with eye stress. I've got, I've got a pimple. 
on the front side of my nostril at the moment. That uh, hurts when I when I wear wear the glasses at the moment. No, no prescription on my glasses. currently hanging out. Yeah, we do have a good bit of new people here, huh? A little Twitch tracker here says we have almost 100 new followers today. If you're someone that's not familiar with my content, welcome. My name is Jeff Oakland. I stream full-time here on Twitch.tv. Focus primarily on card games. We play a ton of Marvel staff. We've also been poking in a little bit at Pokemon Pocket. It's going to be coming out here soon. Usually try and play a lot of off-meta things. Stuff like Pixie. I also change decks quite frequently for someone that enjoys seeing a wide variety of things in Marvel Stamp. This is a great place to be. Usually we change decks every uh, 60 to 90 minutes or so. Marvel, Marvel Stamp's been my main game since it dropped at the end of 22. But I am somewhat ancient here on the Twitch platform. I've been streaming for uh, over a decade. Been a Twitch partner for over nine years now. Played a lot of Magic the Gathering, Rune Terra, Mythgard, other turn based and strategy games before Snap came along. That's a lovely draw. We're changing cost or power in this deck. Yes, exactly. the full pass. I assume that means we're torched. Yikes. Oh, they rolled the good Nico mode. Dodge the Rocket Raccoon Gamers! Got him! You automatically get Twitch drops yourself. No, I need to watch people streaming. I always, I always try and raid someone smaller at the end of the end of my drop streams that I watch their stream. I could put my own stream up on another monitor, but I'd rather give someone some viewer count. It's good community building. How's Pocket been going? I find the deck building frustrating as I can't build chief decks without crafting uncommons. I mean, that sounds like you find the economy frustrating and your booster pack variants frustrating, not the deck building. I 
I've, I've enjoyed Pokemon Pocket's core gameplay loop a good deal. It is fun. I think I'm vibing on the bass for a turn because this could roll demon or draw mode, which rewards me for holding it. Yeah, that's a, I just started playing problem. Not a, not a the deck building is bad problem. Snapping because it's turn one. And that's what you do in silver. I don't start taking snapping more seriously in Conquest until we hit uh, gold. Victory. Only 10% stick around for raids. It really depends on the content creator. You're right that a good chunk of people bounce off when they get raided into somewhere new, but... I've definitely, I've definitely seen as high as like 30, 40, 50% stick around, depending on the vibe of the channel they're being dumped into. Means oh, rates are objectively one of the best ways for smaller content creators to grow. It's tough, it's tough to get eyes on you on twitch.tv. Ah. My Ant-Man deck has queued into their Killmonger deck. Tale as old as time, Marvel and the Snap. Even, that's true too, even if you assume only 10% of people stay, if I raid 2,000 people into someone who's got 15 people, they just like 10x their viewer count, right? Oh my gosh, that is a negative two Deadpool. Sometimes lucky rubber ducky. Although their Wolverine and X-23 both going back to the exact same location is incredibly lucky. Holy. Uh, the Pixie not looking so good here for the home team givers. Probably dead. shot I have to play for all three which seems unlikely I guess uh, I guess Mysterio could come off the top and then we have a shot even even that's probably not the case yeah wins the left, but it's not winning here and here. It says eight. It ties it ties the center. This will be eight and this will be this will be four, but it's not enough to win it unfortunately. Uh, 
How do you get the clean look on the cards? Well, part of it is you can use the custom card features to make sure everything has the same border. And the other part is, uh, these are a premium cosmetic that you split your cards for. No Agent, no Pixie, no Bishop. And I can't really just play my ones out against against the Killmonger deck. Enough said. Is Hello without Hellcow good? No. The Hellcow Hellcow buff is a big part of what made that deck playable. All right. I mean, as far as like turn four plays go, this one's pretty good, yeah? Make sure we don't take priority here by mistake. Hey, yeah, let's play a game. Stay a while and listen. Single deck to gold is super feasible. This is 11? How many cards am I gonna play out? If I do this, and then next turn I play one, and then I'll have played one, two, which gets me to seven, and then I'd only have to play yeah, I think, I think my bishop can compete with the Venom here. And again, most importantly here, so priority is determined by who currently is winning on board. So I need to make sure going into turn six, my opponent is ahead on board, so that way they can't kill Monger my one energy cards. And I'm playing out in the last turn. Then we're hoping to top deck Mysterio here. This gives me two copying Blue Marvel. So that's puts him to nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm beating the Venom on the throne room. This gives me eight, 14 here. 14 here is not enough to beat beat death. I think I want to beat death on the left or on the right. Does this let me win the middle? This would be eight and four. No, I can't. Hmm. Maybe it's just this then. We're definitely staying. Nico's bigger than Sable. Their deck is empty. Good shout. I think be 25 in the middle. 
I don't think the Mysterio draw mattered. Gosh, we're awful close. Holy. Do we get the breaker? No, right? Gosh, that's so impressive. We'd have, we'd have won it with... Would we have won it with Mysterio? No, not quite. I think we would have been short with Mysterio too. But man, that was way closer than I thought it was going to be. All right, have some adverts. We're going to play at least one more set with this one when we get back since it's playing a lot of cards I like. Nico in the center. Oh my gosh! We'd have won with Nico in the center. Good catch. Yeah, 100%. I could have put Mystique here. I, I, to I totally should have put the most points here. That's a great, great catch. If I put Mystique here and then we go Ant-Man, Demon, Nico. We're 27 here. Good call out. Have some, have some ads. We'll play some more when we get back. I'm skipping. It's a good 700 gold variant. I'll take that for free. Split some friends here. It took Marble Snap almost a year to add a PC client after it launched on mobile. In fact, I would I would go so far as to say um, the fact that Pokemon Pocket is launching on mobile first, just like Snap launched on mobile first, means it has a higher probability of being successful than other games. Because it means the developers understand what's actually important. One of the myriad of reasons DC Dual Force was dead in the water was that it was a PC first digital card game. 20, 2023. Our fourth spider split. Uh, Pokemon Pocket launches globally on Android and iOS October 30th. End of the month. So, I'm not spending gold to buy boosters anymore, but I'm rolling them up in my free booster shop as we go because we've got plenty of credits and stuff. Japan's mobile market is way bigger than PC or console. That's true in literally every market. I know I know the don't you have phones comments from the Diablo Immortal announcement gets mocked a lot, but like it's actually true. Everybody has a smartphone. Going on, Drewfus. Thanks for the 19 months. Oh, I forgot to open for the 700 gold variant. I'll take that in a minute. Hey, Mad Hacker. Thanks for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 20 months. Rich head jump scare, be gone. Be gone, interloper. I'm just vibing on playing cards, especially with the Elysium flip up, because if we draw a Bast, Basting all of these cards is good. It's like not in a rush to add anything to the board here. Uh, Pooksy. Yeah, that sounds fine. Your finest pooksy, please. See, someone gets so rewarded for making good decisions in their life before chat. 
They have a huge brain. Yes, we've tried a version of this on release day that had Black Swat in the Mystique slot, but Mystique doubling up our ongoings proved to be more powerful. This is... 6, 10, 11, 22. They're getting... At least six more here up to 17. So they'd have to play a five power thing here. Seems unlikely. Oh, they might not want to compete with the Elis with the Iron Man path. Put Demon here and do this. This is giving me 7, 11, 15, 30 here. Playing, playing around Baki for another, right? I think I makes am. sense. I Although Baki Bird would have still gotten us through the demon, right? Did he dang it? Man, there to play around it, maybe? Mockingbird would have been. Uh, this was four. Baki Bird would have been plus five. So it would have been 28. Playing the silver Sable into the negative zone was probably ambitious. I probably should have put Sable here or here and put Bast into here and just punted it when they had the, the arrow in there. That's what I should have done. Because it bears repeating that not all sides are the same in the upcoming presidential election. Two former Trump White House officials told me they had to show voter data to Trump to get him to release disaster funding for the California wildfire victims. And he only released it after learning he had as many GOP supporters in Orange County as he did in Iowa. Never forget with these cryptic, immoral ghouls that every accusation is a confession. So when he's talking about things that aren't happening, it's just, he's just saying what he would do. Just like, it's so, it's so unreal ghoulish. Sheeden Frey, thank you for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. The Democrats are not perfect. They can always be pushed to do better, but the idea that they are remotely comparable to the incredible stuff like that, and deeply racist stuff, like the lies about Haitians inside of Ohio and all sorts of other things is just not remotely the same. Uh, remotely. Opponents playing Arishib! Excited to get got by six different tech cards.
We do not have a way to get power into Sanctum Sectorum. It's noteworthy here. Alan, that knife out. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Bread. Thank you for the half a year. Welcome back. Thank you, Ray Ray. Appreciate the support. Thanks for checking out the sponsor. Nico or Pixie more essential to this deck? Uh, Pixie's more essential to this particular deck, but I would absolutely never recommend you pick up Pixie over picking up Nico Minaru. Nico Minaru is literally the singular best card you can spend your collector's tokens on. If you've bought any cards before you bought Nico, you fucked up. Fix it by Nico. My Marvel Snap Year 2 in a review video will be coming up later this month once we cross the two-year threshold. And I've been I've been thinking about the game-related and other stuff I want to put into it. And I think I think we're gonna we're gonna open the video by giving giving a shout out to every person who's ever told me I'd be more successful if I didn't talk about politics on stream. Yeah, useful, useful video for those people on top of everything else. Plus six from Silver Sable here. 500 tokens from Kate. She's number two behind Nico. Also a very good and fun card. Get into get into here. Right, but we're gonna add a lot more points there still. 
They do have a plus six from Namor somewhere lurking. We get Eliath in the middle. Yeah, that's true. This kind of is what it is. We could get Legion. Uh, we'd beat Legion, yeah? Because we'd play cards to make the Bishop bigger? No, we wouldn't be able to play that many. So this is one of those slightly awkward things. If I play Mysterio, it's one more point on Bishop. But Nico's plus two would go on the Mysterio. So it's actually more points to play Pixie than it is Mysterio because of the Nico. We get one more from her rather than triggering Bishop an extra time. Trying to eat it to like a uh, rogue or enchantress here. I know I am. Pixie and Agent Venom together is kind of like Mr. Negative with extra steps. Yeah, we called it that the other day when we put it together. And two card you like is I build to build your own in two parts. Buzz Fred, thank you for the year and a half. Welcome back. When you snapped because you had Shadow King and then still lose the lane by one. Ah, if, that, if that's not peak Arish and Brain Rot, I don't know what is. Victory. Here's my tech card. I got, I got Loki and I got my tech card. Snap. Snap. Math, not even once. How, how dare you accuse me of trying to math? First off, how dare you? Second dinner did kind of nerf math when they buffed Hella to be meta relevant. That's honestly true. What a what a true statement. Why do I never run into Killmonger until I play my first game with my four one cost deck? There's actually a reason for that. Do you know why you don't see tech cards that don't beat the deck you're playing? Because when you're not playing a bunch of one drops or you're not playing cards that die to Shang-Chi, people don't play out the four three or the three three. When the tech card's not good against you, they don't play it. They play the other better cards in their hand instead. They look at their cards and go, nope, that tech card sucks. It's a blank. Jeff revealing the secrets of the universe. <laughs> How dare you use logic to debug conspiracy theories, Hogland? That can't possibly be it. Nope. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. 
Ooh, this hand is bastard, chat. I... I was about to say I'm going to wait a turn to Bast, but actually thinking about this deck, if I draw Pixie or Agent Venom, they both punish me for waiting. Because I'm going to want a Pixie or Agent Venom on two, and I'm going to want a Bishop on three. So because I have two live draws out of eight, I'm just going to Bast on Curve here. Not, not rewarded, but, you know, it is what it is. Lovely card for Nidavalier. Oh, you know what? I would like to not get shanged here, if possible. I'm gonna put her in the center. to be better for other decks than us, but we have Iron Man and Dedita Valir and a Mystique with three power to copy it, so we have a shot. You best believe that just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and we're not throwing away this shot. Nico! Nico, my lovely. in this human torch's future. Do we want a third Iron Man? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to? I don't know, I don't know. The upside of hitting location change is just so high. And now, now I drew Hood, so if I find the demon mode, that's also really good. All right, who are we calling the ambulance for? How big does this get me on the left? How big would this get me on the left? This would be seven, seven more, and then four more, so 11 more. I'd be going to plus 22 is 56. This would be, this is 21. Plus 12 is 33, 38. I'm actually losing to dagger move left here is the problem. They don't want to compete there though. Am I supposed to put this here and assume they move the dagger? Assuredly they move the dagger every time, yes? No! Oh, I talked myself out of it. Rip. Rip! Fuck. Should have done the math. I am Iron Man. Man. In my card game. We need a bar with no name. Yep. Uh, am I sitting on this for a turn? Yeah, 
I think so. With the, with the Elysium, I'm just not in a rush. Blue Marvel by himself. I'm glad I didn't. Spider Man 28 that I was a spicy one. Demon card, card, Sentinel, Sentinel. to get the blue marvel. I guess they needed to bounce the human torch. Mystique the blue marvel. No, I think I need two Iron Man paths to win this game. Is, uh, 12, 16, 32 on the left. The problem is I'm going to lose to where I'm going to, I'm going to lose the human torch path. So I, I kind of have to play for all three here. Or I could assume the human torch path is going to be left and double Iron Man there. It's good old, good old fashioned level myself again. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose the breaker. I am Iron Man. If I would have put Ant-Man on the right, would we have won? I think Ant-Man right would have won it. I'm only, I'm only getting plus two from the Sentinel Ant-Man. It would have been plus three. Yeah. Gosh darn it. What a close set. Yeah, I should have I should have put Ant-Man or Demon on the right to be like, okay, we're losing the human torch path. I need to try and play for all three. Yeah, I could get put it. I played their deck well and we lost some lost some tight flips there at the end. Man! Marvel Snap's a pretty good game when you're not playing into the RNG fiestas, huh? But I'm glad they may move a real deck. The games, the games can be. And this this deck was sweet too. I know, I know, we lost a couple in there, but it it felt like it felt like I was in every game that I played 
and it felt like I had meaningful choices to make across every single game that I was playing. And I don't, I don't know that I expect this to be the best deck, but it's doing, it's doing something powerful and something fun, and it's got sequencing decisions, which is all I really want out of Life at Marble Snap.